I, I thought you start first here, then going that way. Oh, I well. mean, so last should have been you. But, but, oh, so I introduced myself. <laughs> I can always come back. <laughs> and yes, my name is Freddy Mbouli, <laughs> taking you through this session. Uh, quite a number of headlines, of course. Uh, the Ruaraka land saga has become even bigger. And uh, we are privileged to have uh, Senator Kimani Wamatangi, who is part of that team uh, in the Senate that's probing that uh, issue. And of course, we'll be coming to that headline as well. Sure. Uh, quite a number of issues uh, arising from that uh, debate but i want us to start with what's headlining on the front page of the standard today but we're just looking at the issues behind the headline not just the headline and these are, are the changes behind uh changes happening in state house changes happening uh within the president's inner circle earlier this year we saw that uh the attorney general we got a new attorney general uh then immediately after that there was a, a, a cabinet reshuffle where foreign affairs minister uh cs then Amina Mohammed was moved to education at Docket. Now uh, Monica Juma took over. We've seen the spokesperson of the president, uh, Manoa Esipisu, leave that position. Kanzadena is now acting spokesperson, State House. Control of State House has changed. Now uh, Kenodi Ambugwa, the former governor of Funakuru, <coughs> uh, is in that position. Now this week we saw aide de camp, and probably that's the most visible change mm. that we've seen. Uh, probably because he comes from the Navy and now he's dressed in white. And it looks a bit different from what you're used to. <laughs> but these changes are not just uh, cosmetic. These are, if, if you look at each change individually, you might not see... Uh, see it as a big deal but when you look at all the, these are major changes mm -hmm. within the last four five six months the attorney general foreign affairs uh, cs uh, spokesperson at state house control of state house even chief of staff at state house now it's njemu turi uh, previously that uh, role i think was being uh, uh, handled by joseph kenya who doubles up as head of public service and uh, now we see a new adc uh, many may say it's a purely ceremonial role but he controls quite a lot of uh, the president's diary as well and people who come next to the president all these changes uh if we may decide to look deeper than just the surface what would you say is happening uh at state house uh, let's start with you Bwana uh i think i'll be very brief because we are privileged to have uh, in our midst uh senator matangi the senator for kiambu who sits in the kitchen cabinet of the president <laughs> He is there such a thing he obviously <laughs> uh, he obviously tell us <laughs> uh, but to me uh, i hope that this means that the president is responding to the concerns that the jubilee government has not been functional uh, for the last uh, eight months from the time we came from the general election uh, the face of the government today is corruption and therefore, if he's making these uh, tweaks so as to respond to that and to get the, uh, the government going, it is something I welcome. As to the specific individuals, uh, again, I wouldn't have much to say, but um, these people have got access to the confidential aspects of running mm -hmm. the presidency. And therefore, maybe it speaks volumes to the fact that uh, uh, the, 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 their predecessors might not have been uh, up to it. Maybe they were leaking secrets and that kind of thing. And therefore, the president wants to tighten <coughs> the loopholes. Okay, and of course, you've had quite a lot uh, from Jubilee members, probably allied to the deputy president, speaking a lot about the click around the president. This invisible amorphous group of people that we do not know uh now that we are seeing <laughs> these names and these are people who are very close to the president mm. uh, could this be the people could this be the positions that they're talking about that that click around the president having been in office for many years in a public office mm. for many years i can confirm that the people who are usually close to you as the occupant of that office are not always popular mm -hmm. you will find many mistakes that you make as the, the, the one in charge are blamed on your mm -hmm. the deputies, they are blamed on your PA and so on. So give it to them. They might not be devils after all. <laughs> <laughs> the people who have just left. They might not be devils after all, but is this a <laughs> click? Do you think that this is a click that uh, uh, these MPs have been talking about? They say that that click around the president, there's this group that sits with the president that makes life difficult for everyone else. Do you think that these are the individuals we're talking about? 
I think first and foremost, when you look at these uh, things, they look quite administrative, according to me. Mm -hmm. Administrative in the sense that uh, the things that are purely in the office of the president, and you realize that it is actually president's prerogative to make changes whenever he feels, particularly on those people around him that are handling his matters. But most importantly, I think it's more to do with the uh, legacy. And if you read the mood of the president, according to me, much of what is surrounding his thinking is about leaving his legacy. And he seems to be so serious about legacy to the extent that he doesn't want to take chances with anyone handling his affairs or anyone walking around him. And I think it's about realigning and taking stock of what may have happened with the Jubilee, particularly with the first term. And now is second term and obviously the last term. And some of the changes say, now I think it is business, it will not be business as usual. And therefore, for whatever has been happening, things must change. Mm -hmm. And therefore, I think first is face of change that he wants to give to the public. Things have not been happening, but we must put the face of change. Mm -hmm. And that also plays around with the thinking and psychology of the people. Yes. Yeah, that, that, that indeed uh, it means business is about change. And this is the first step towards that change. Yet Kenyans are really not... Uh, have never really had a problem with anyone around the president. Yeah, uh, it's the politicians who usually complain about the clique surrounding yeah. the president. Uh, do you th do you see this one as a clique, if I may call them that, that could be friendlier and, uh, and uh, to politicians? And that's what I'm saying when you look at this. This looks quite administrative, according mm -hmm. to me, and administrative in the sense that president wants to have a grip yes. of what is happening, and grip to, is to say now possibly what has been happening, or maybe people have been handling some of these things had overgrown some of these yes. positions and therefore i want to have a team that need indeed to make me a full control of so, what is happening around so what you read is that he's actually tightening that he's circle tight and making things even tougher for these politicians no no he's he's, he's, he's actually tightening and say hey i'm in charge mm -hmm. i'm actually the president of this republic and therefore i think some of these things i need to be in charge mm -hmm. and therefore the team that i'm putting across uh, across is the team that really will be responsible and taking charge Mm -hmm. or my administrative affairs. Okay, finally, yeah. Senator uh, Kimani Wamatange, uh, Bonahalwale says that uh, you are in the kitchen cabinet <laughs> and you know exactly <laughs> what's happening. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Is this the, uh, the, 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 the infamous clique that uh, your colleagues in uh, the National Assembly and the Senate have been referring to? They say that clique yeah. surrounding the president is a problem. Well, uh, let, let me first uh, assure and inform my good friend, Senator Harwale, that the kitchen in State House was closed <laughs> during, ah, the, yes. during the Kebaki regime. <laughs> and it was moved into individual houses, uh, whoever becomes president. Uh, but, um, you know, uh, on, on these on, on, on this people uh, that, that you asked about, first, let's pick them out uh, individually. And you see uh, that quite a number of them are not necessarily new mm -hmm. to that job, neither in the office of the, of the president. If you look at Kenyo, he's been there. He's been op operating. If you look at Matiangi, he's been an, a minister. All, the th all, all that happened is that he, he, he swapped. Uh, Jim Moturi has been there before. Monica Juma has been in the same ministry. Uh, albeit in a lower position. Of course. Uh, but, but um, you know, she's been there. And, and so you, you, you find that fundamentally it is not a, it's, it's not a, a tectonic uh, shift that, that you would say that, that it's, it's earth moving. But uh, that's it and done. Uh, you realize, uh, Fred, that even, especially if you look at, co compare that to the corporate world, and, and one of the most important things for a head or a leader to do is to ensure that there is substantive mobility of personnel within, if you want to, to be a good manager. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and uh, that does not mean that the people either you have in certain positions before, uh, as my colleagues have said, are not either uh, adequately uh, functional or, or, or satisfy, satisfying. But, but you, according to changing priorities, uh, goals, you know, and, and, and uh, probably, you know, things you want to achieve. You may want to shift people from here, that position, the other position, 
with an idea or with the intent of either maximizing or, or increasing uh, momentum and and uh, maybe you would also be telling us a little more yourself Fred as uh, because Kanzadena has been your colleague here and then maybe you'd be telling her, her, her us her so, so, so some of the qualities that you know about <laughs> her that, that, that would right give now, her uh, you know that this discussion <laughs> and uh, I know she's on the front page yes. but her position has a lot more to do with the fact that Manoa Sepiso has now moved to other duties. Absolutely. Yes. And, and that, that's the story. That's what I was saying. So, so you find that most of these people actually, uh, you know, are there because others have moved. I don't think, in my view, uh, that, that such changes are necessarily made only to address any, any political agenda. Actually, this is about, you know, having uh, attainment or achievement of specific goals for government. But I want to, to, to discount uh, one thing that was said by my good friend, uh, Senator Halole there, that, uh, that the face of uh, the government is corruption. The face of the government is not corruption. It isn't. It's achievement. Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, you, you know, this, this government was re-elected mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. in, in 2017, 18, on account and on the basis of delivery of its manifesto from 20, 2013, 2017. And, and so, if, the, if, 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 if there is anything that would be said about corruption right now, <laughs> it is actually the upskilled battle mm -hmm. and fight, fight against, against it. And, 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 and every Kenyan is, 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 is do, now do, do you actually think, you you know, admiring that, that, what's do you happening. Think the fight against yeah. corruption has informed some of the changes happening at State House? Well, well I don't think wholly. To whatever yeah, extent? I, I would not think that wholly that, that that would be the center agenda that would inform this, but of course. Is the, that's what, is what, of one of the priorities uh, yes. that, that the government has right now yes. is to ensure that we eradicate corruption completely. Okay. And, 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 and definitely. But uh, Senator, you must have heard your colleagues, especially those who support uh, uh, the Deputy President, yes. saying, complaining about a clique around the President that has become so problematic yes. that is hell bent on interfering or uh, probably. Uh, standing in the way of uh, the deputy president's uh, presidential ambitions come 2022. Yeah, I, uh, I, I remember Fred. Do, those, do, those, do these two teams, that clique they're talking about <laughs> yes. and the people we are seeing here, uh, are they related? You remember we had this debate here the last, last time <laughs> when, when we sat together. And um, uh, definitely one, we agreed on a few basic principles that, that it is the right thing to do to allow every leader or politician their own point of view or their opinion mm -hmm. that, 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 that we can deny and and the interpretation of, of events is subject to one's view but i do not think in my view that um there is any there is any or has been a specific agenda that says that put fred in that position so that he can make life difficult for wamatangi or put this one so that actually what i want you to realize that this needs to be in the public domain by now especially after observing what has been happening is that our agenda remains the same our vision remains the same our people the team leaders remain the same and we remain focused but and, 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 and as I said here um, Fred the last time I uh, let me repeat it in two sentences it is not necessarily or actually intended or envisaged that every on every issue within Jubilee that there is going to be unanimous uh, agreement all the time. Yes. But what we do is when there are different opinions and points yes. of view, is we rise above it and yes. come up with the best option and support it. But of course the president must have heard those complaints, those murmurs that they are, uh, the, the people around him yes. uh, are causing problems yeah. uh, and so there, are, there are sections of Jubilee members that are uncomfortable with that click. Do you think by him changing uh, these positions and, and making sure or putting new faces to these positions is trying to remedy that? No, I, I, I don't think so. I, I, I think that the way that the, the president reacts to or, or responds to, to issues is really from a completely national uh, uh, spectrum. Uh, you know, a latitude of, with a national vision where he sees from one end of the country to the other ag across all communities, interests and people. Yet the president is also a politician. He must act politically from, one uh, from time to time. Uh, surely, uh, some of these things are political. He is a politician at the, uh, mm. in the first place, don't you think? I was very expectant when uh, Senator Matangi started speaking, but you should realize, because of the, his special position in this government, which he continues to deny, Kenyans were expecting him this morning 
to speak very substantially to this. Mm -hmm. But what he has said is just uh, some total that <laughs> you have said nothing. <laughs> you have said, no, I don't no, want no, to talk about it. It, 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 may be, it is because your total talk would have, you would have wanted it to be <coughs> what you want. <laughs> what, 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 but I say what, what is what real. Expect him to and what is because, true. Because he's telling Kenyans that the corruption is not the face of no, this government. No, no, no. And yet, even uh, little children know that that is the case. You know, Bonnie, okay, okay, Bonnie we don't expect the senator to Bonnie, come Bonnie, say Bonnie that. Bonnie, what I have said, <laughs> even <laughs> against <laughs> your expectations, and me and you know this, yes. as leaders, we've been fighting corruption with you in the Public Accounts Committee. And, and we know the levels from which we have risen up to today. And I would be very surprised, Bonnie, if today you would not say that at least, at least, and I've heard you say this in, in other forums with you, that, that now Kenyans can see and feel that there is a different di dimension and intent to make sure that we fight corruption now really and absolutely and sustainably. At least that, 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 yes. that is true. Now, now you are talking. We have all agreed that we are happy the president seems to have engaged gear. Mm -hmm. So you should have told us that I'm wrong by assuming that these changes are making it easier for mm -hmm. the president to further his widely acknowledged efforts to fight corruption. Well, true. Uh, I mean, you, true to this people, extent. The, the, people, the, that, yes. the people perpetuating corruption, the, uh, the, the, the kind of corruption that I'm talking about, are the very people who have got access to the powers that be. So if the president is locking the gates through which probably they were escaping or going through to, uh, to, 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 to turn uh, tables uh, on one angel, then he's doing a good job. Mm -hmm. You know, all, all I said, uh, all I said, uh, Bonnie, is very simple. That um, you, when you are sitting in your position, is now the deputy leader of Ford Kenya. That that when you are confronted with that situation, you think about all your people, and if you have to have a solution, it has got to be across the interest of all your people, no matter what what they want. I mean, that is how you make decision as a deputy party leader. Okay. And, and that is absolutely what the president does. Not, 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 do you not think, do you think yeah. only on what my interest or your interest against corruption. I, I, th I think, first and foremost, as a leader, and one of the good qualities of any leader is to accept mistakes. Mm -hmm. And president seems to be saying, truly, a lot has been happening. Yes. And he seems to be agreeing to that. And he says, I want to be in charge. I want to be in control. I want to take charge of this. Because he seems to be saying, and he seems to be actually responding to what one angel been saying, mm -hmm. that indeed corruption is there. And he says, now, to fight this, I'm ready to handle this, this politically and administratively. And he, he starts with his office, and yes. he says, I think the people to help me mm -hmm. is now the office. Yes. And this is the face. Yes. This is the team that will be helping me sort out this problem. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing wrong with that, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And therefore, he goes to the next level and say, politically, we have to handle this. And I see, r reading his mood and his body language, it means business when you come to handling corruption. Okay. And, and let me tell you, uh, of these people, of yeah. Matangi, yes. there is a man called Mze Joseph Kinyua. Yes. Joseph Kinyua is one of the celebrated sons of this country. I have gone through many, many confidential financial documents of the government where Joseph Kinyua was in a position to steal. Auditor generals that have been there over the years have not implicated this man. Yes. So when I see him there, when ordinarily we would be saying, why doesn't the president give a younger person mm -hmm. an opportunity to serve? It means the president appreciates that this is a man who is not corrupt. Yes. And therefore, let me have him in the Mideast because corruption is my problem. Mm -hmm. He'll help me fight it. So these changes have a lot to do with yes. the fight against corruption. But yeah, well. when I see that face of yeah. Kinyua, a okay. great man. And, and, and I truly, if you know, yeah. whoever has worked with Kinyua yeah. will tell you he's thorough. Mm -hmm. When you come, at, we come to matters of finance, when you come to matters of uh, governance, and truly, I agree that uh, his presence there yes. means a lot, yes. And of course, uh, what you've said is that th these changes have not all happened at once. Uh, the AG, uh, his, not, his face is not in the, uh, on the front page of the dailies, but that was one of the big changes yes. uh, of the president's inner circle way earlier in this year. Foreign affairs from Amina uh, Mohammed to Monica Juma, that was a big one. Uh, also happened at a different time, moving uh, uh, Fred Matiangi substantively to take charge of the interior docket. The spokesman uh, for State House, Manoa Sipisu, is now uh, being uh, processed for diplomatic uh, duties. Control of State House, uh, Kenothi Mbugwa is now in charge of that. 
Chief of Staff Njia Muturi. No, Chief of Staff is a uh, uh, deputy, deputy Chief, Chief of, of Staff Njia yes. Muturi. Yeah. And then <coughs> ABC. And that's the other thing. Uh, mm. President Uhuru Kenyatta seems to be changing. I, and I know this is a military issue. It's not even political <laughs> or anything. Mm. But uh, he has had three uh, different ADCs since he took over. Mm. Uh, President Mwai Kibaki, I think he had two. Uh, President Moi, maybe three or four, but he, mm. over a period of 24 years. Mm. Uh, but uh, what does, d d does that indicate anything about the president? No, I, I do, in, in my view, especially from uh, an ADC's, uh, you know, respect for his job, really, and, and within the mandate uh, or, or what an ADC is supposed to be doing, I don't think it's, it's, it's superfluous. I don't think really it, 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 it has any uh, such major implication. And, and of course, it, it's, it's good for his face. It's all good uh, to give the... Diff if you see, as you said when we started, that this, this new ADC is from uh, the Navy. Uh, what's wrong with, with, with mm -hmm. giving well, we're each... We're not saying there's anything each, wrong. Well, what, oh, <coughs> I mean, you know, give one arm of, of the military the opportunity to... to, to, to be seen there and, and to have one of their good men serve. We've had, you know, from the Army, from the Air Force. So now we can have one from the Navy. Yes. yes. Uh, is it that simple? Because we keep this I, 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 I don't the think so. I don't yeah. think it is that simple because it should be understood that the head of the KDF uh, is uh, Major General Mwa. Mwadede. Mwadede, a difficult name to pronounce. He's also from the Navy. Mm -hmm. So because the President has tended to use the good disciplined people in the military to advance his administration probably it is Madade himself coming from the navy mm -hmm. who has recommended that this young man mm -hmm. is the one who is fit uh, for this job so that i hand over the mic i think we also left out some faces here mm -hmm. there is an important person here called the head of the National Intelligence Service. Mm -hmm. That's part of this team. Yes. Then, of course, the... And there uh, were changes there. So yeah, there were changes. The DCI. Yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. the, the deputy has been changed. Mm -hmm. And so, even the head, the head is new. Uh, Mr. Mweru is, is new in the job. Mm -hmm. He's not old. And then even his deputy, mm -hmm. uh, Muteshi, uh, I think was moved to immigration and somebody else has come there. Yes. So those things are Definitely being these changes are many, but yeah, back yeah. to the issue of yeah. the ADC. I will, uh, we, we keep dismissing <coughs> this as a purely yeah. ceremonial uh, yeah, position, truly. but it, it, it should <coughs> be beyond that. And, and, and I think you've got it right. It mm. is a ceremonial position where somebody is supposed to be handling, of course, not only security of the president, but those things that are immediately surrounding the president. And therefore, I, of course, told there are minimums. A leak, you can serve a minimum for a year or so. But I think also accepting the fact that these people are need uh, uh, growth in terms of their career. Mm -hmm. And if somebody has, sat, has served a certain period of time, to say he can also go and serve in a different position. And we are told the person who was doing it before had uh, to go for a specialized training. And therefore, that had to give a, a, a space for someone else to come. So I think uh, it, could be, it could be purely internal and administrative, but also allowing others to grow, I mean, career progression, which is, which is allowed, honestly. Mm -hmm. If somebody now serves in this position, uh, assisting the president, standing with him for five years, I mean, clearly what comes out of it is that they become so busy that they cannot even basically go for even further mm -hmm. studies or something. Your life is purely tied to that. Purely tied to that, yes. And therefore, when you do some of these changes, then you give an opportunity to say, mm -hmm. you have served this particular time, please you can go and, uh, and poss possibly um, progress your career in that direction. So I think uh, really nothing much. I don't read a lot mm -hmm. in this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, It is just one of the many changes that, has, that have happened to the people very close to the president. Yeah. And uh, uh, Senator Boni Kalwale also, also mentioned some more changes that have happened. Of course, not all the faces have been <coughs> captured in this story on the standard this morning, but the changes are many. If at all you decide to look at them collectively, you realize that it is not a simple change. Mm -hmm. Quite a lot has changed around the president. It's also a new government. Yes. Yeah, I mean, after the election of 2017-18, well, I mean, uh, it's, 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 it's a new government yes. and uh, new priorities. Okay. We have the uh, we have the four 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 point agenda. You know, the four pillars, mm -hmm. and 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 so uh, the delivery really of the entire vision requires substantive changes. Yes. Uh, if if we went down deeper, you you realize that there there will be and there are even more changes downwards which mm -hmm. are not as visible. Okay, yeah, I mean, it's, it's it's the malleability of of, of uh, leadership. Okay, yes. new government, new changes. Definitely a new team.